Hello there, good morning. Welcome to Cradle Roll Sabbath School. I hope that you are well and thank you for joining us today on our online programme. Now it's time to start our Sabbath School. What time do we come to Sabbath School? We come quite early on a Saturday morning, don't we? Well, I've got my lovely little clock here. I wonder if you can see what time it is. Well, we start our Sabbath school at quarter to 10. And I love that my clock here makes a nice tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Isn't that fun? My nice ticking clock. So, you may not have a ticking clock at home like me, but I think you should go find a clock at home. Maybe a watch. Maybe you could use a phone. Something that tells the time. And you can use it and you can make it tick like this. And we'll sing our TikTok song. Have you found something? Good. Now let's make our clocks tick and sing our TikTok song. Ready? This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock. nicely. Is this time still quarter to ten? I think it is. Shall we sing it again? Can you make your clocks tick? Are you ready? This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. Come to Sabbath school at quarter to ten. Oh, It's lovely to see all your ticking clocks and thank you for coming to Sabbath School on time. It's nice to have some nice things, isn't it? You could have some very nice toys or some nice food or even, maybe like me, some nice dollies. These are my really nice rabbit dollies and I have two of them. Oh, but you don't have anything there. Oh, I'm sorry, these are my dollies. But it's a bit rude of me to keep them to myself, isn't it? Isn't it nice to share things with one another? Have you got anything at home that you could share with someone? How about I share my dollies with you and you find something to share with someone at home? Maybe with a brother or a sister or with mummy and daddy. Go and find something like my dollies and we can share our things together. Let's go share some toys. And now that I'm sure you have something to share, let's share our toys together. Ready? I have some toys and I am glad. You have no toys and that's too bad. I'll share my toys cause I love you. And that's what Jesus wants me to do. Share your things. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Jesus would be so happy. Well done for sharing your toys. I have something else to share. What do I have here? <gasps> Some boats. Do you have any boats at home? You don't, but that's okay. I can share my boats with you. How about you go and find something else to share and then we can share our toys together. Are you ready to share? I have some toys and I am glad You have no toys and that's too bad I'll share my toys as I love you And that's what Jesus wants me to do We shared again! Isn't it wonderful to share things? Jesus will be so proud of us that we shared our toys together many things that make up our body. We have feet, we have hands, we have a head, we have shoulders, lots of things that make up our body. But can you make any of those things make a noise? Try and think, 
how can we make a noise with the things that God gave us on our bodies? What if you take your hands and you clap? Oh, good job. Can you clap really loudly for me? Wow. Good job. Because I have hands that clap, clap, clap. Because they were made by Jesus. Let's sing, I have hands that clap, clap, clap. And I want to hear you clap really loudly. Ready? I have hands that clap, clap, clap. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. They were made by Jesus. Good job. Now, what are these things at the end of our hands? wiggling right now. Are they fingers? Can you make your fingers wiggle 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 like this as well? And how about you go around and you tickle your mummies and daddies and your brothers and sisters because we're gonna sing I have fingers that wiggle wiggle wiggle. Ready? I have fingers that wriggle wriggle wriggle. I have fingers that wriggle wriggle wriggle. I have fingers that wriggle wriggle wriggle. Well done everyone. Now, I need you to stand up and I want you to be really, really tall. Can you be really, really tall for me? When you're really, really tall, do you stand on your feet or, in fact, do you go on your toes? <gasps> you do go on your toes, don't you? And when we're on our toes, we can be really quiet. Shh. So let's see if you can walk on your tippy, tippy toes quietly around the room. Ready? I have feet that tippy tippy toe. I have feet that tippy tippy toe. I have feet that tippy tippy toe. They were made by Jesus. Good job everyone. Now I think it's time that maybe we talk to Jesus. So we can talk to Jesus in many ways. But Jesus likes when we come and kneel down for him. So let's sing the end of our song as we're going to pray. I have knees that bend by my chair. I have hands that fold in prayer. I have eyes that shut so tight. Then I talk to Jesus. Good job, everyone. Now, hands together, eyes closed. And let's talk to Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you look after us. Thank you that you keep us safe. Thank you that you love us and you protect us in all that we do. Please be with us, Lord. Help us to have a good Sabbath and a good week. And that we have wonderful times with our mummies and daddies and our brothers and sisters and anyone else we're with at this time. Thank you, Father, that all that you do for us. In your name I pray. Amen. What a lovely prayer. Well done, everyone. Let's time to stand up. It's time to sing our next song. Sometimes the Bible likes to call people like you and me sheep because Jesus is our shepherd. He looks after us and he even comes find us when we're lost. So we should be like sheep. Can you do little sheep ears like this? And what noise does a sheep make? Can you think, do they go moo? No. Okay, uh, a sheep goes woof woof. No. What noise does a sheep make? Can you tell me? That's right, they go baa. So can you give me your little sheep ears and go baa? Because I just want to be a sheep. Bah, bah, bah. like that so let's sing our song together and I want to see all of my little sheep are you ready I just want to be a sheep bah, 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 bah. I just want to be a sheep bah, 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 bah. and pray my lord my soul to keep I just want to be a sheep bah, 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 bah. I don't want to be a Pharisee I don't want to be a Pharisee cause then Sadducee, cause they're so sad, you see. 
time where we come and bring our pennies for Jesus. Have you got your pennies ready? I've got mine ready right here. Look, I've got my pennies ready and my penny pot. So I think it's time that you should go and get your pennies and your penny pots and we can do our offering together. Are you ready? Have you got your pennies? Then let's sing Hear the Pennies Dropping and come and bring your pennies for Jesus. Hear the pennies dropping. in your penny pot. Well, I've put them all of mine in, so I think I should put the lid on mine. There we go. And let's sing a prayer over our offering. We're gonna sing thank you for the world so sweet. So, hands together, eyes closed, and let's sing. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for good of you to come and bring your pennies for Jesus. In this story, Daniel is a counsellor to King Darius. Him and two others are serving the king with giving him advice about battle and about how to conquer more kingdoms. And King Darius is a very proud king. Daniel is a very honest advisor. He always prays to God to know what to do and how to advise the king best. He is always doing the right thing. Because of that, the other two advisors don't really like him because they're not very honest. So they always wanted to get Daniel in trouble, but they couldn't figure out how. One day, the two bad advisors thought of a great plan. They went to King Darius and they said, Oh, great and wonderful and powerful king, we thought of a great plan, an order you can pass where for the next 30 days everybody in the kingdom has to bow down to you and only you, no other god. Because King Darius was a proud king, he thought that was a wonderful idea. So he put his kingly seal onto the order and it was done and the bad advisors couldn't wait to catch Daniel. But Daniel knew this was just another trial and it wasn't going to stop him from praying to the God of Israel. He would pray three times a day and as he was facing the city of Jerusalem where he was from. And he would pray to his God three times a day and his, his other advisors knew he would do that, so they came because he, they knew he was going to be praying and they quickly ran back to the king to tell him. And they quickly ran back to the king. Oh, King Darius, King Darius, oh, you would not believe this. We are so sorry to say this, but Daniel has disrespected your order. He is praying to his God and not you. 
As soon as King Darius heard that, he knew he had been tricked. And he felt so sad because he liked Daniel and he knew Daniel was a good man. But now he had to throw Daniel into the lion's den. And Daniel was sent to the lion's den. The advisors thought that would be the end of him. Yes, they had gotten rid of Daniel finally. But that night, the king couldn't sleep. He was so worried. Do you know what he told Daniel as he was being thrown in the lion's den? He said, oh, Daniel, I hope your God will save you. And the next morning, the king quickly went to the lion's den to see if Daniel's God had saved him. The what? next morning, the king ran to the lion's den to see if Daniel was still alive. And he said, Daniel, Daniel, did your God save you? And what do you think Daniel said? Yes. He said, yes, my king. God sent an angel to protect me. The angel closed the lion's mouth and I am not harmed. When the king heard that, he was so happy. And because he knew he had been tricked, he sent the other advisors up into the lion's den because they had been evil. And the Bible says that before they even reached inside, the lions gobbled them up. There was no angel for them to save them. And from that day, the king said, Everybody in the whole world now needs to obey and worship Daniel's God because he is the true God. Now, there are many lessons we can learn from Daniel's story. But one that we really like in this house is that we always talk to Jesus no matter what. And if we have a really, really bad day or things just can't get any worse, we remember that we can talk to God, we can pray, and he loves us and he will take care of us. We all have our guardian angels that God sends to us to be with us at all times because he is a loving God and he wants us to always be well. We've now come to the time in our program where we say our memory verse together. Have you learned your memory verse for this week? Oh, you have, you're so good. So why don't we say our memory verse together? Our memory verse this week is Daniel. Daniel written in red. Went, went written in orange. Two, two written in yellow. His, his written in green. Room, room written in blue. Three, Three written in purple. Times. Times written in pink. A. A written in grey. Day. Day written in light blue. Two. Two written in black. And pray. Pray written in navy. And our memory verse this week can be found in Daniel 6 verse 10. Daniel 6 verse 10 written in cream. Such a good job, everyone. You've learned your memory verse. Shall we say it together? Are you ready after three? One, two, three. Daniel went to his room three times a day to pray. Daniel 6 verse 10. Let's say it again. Daniel went to his room three times a day to pray. Daniel 6 verse 10. You're so clever. Well done, everyone. You learned your memory verse. Why don't we sing? I'm glad I learned my memory verse together. So I want you all to stand up and stand really tall and let's celebrate that we learned our memory verse together. Are you ready? I'm glad I learned Reversed. Well.
well done. I have a very big question. How big is God? Can you show me how big God is? Is he this big? Is he this big? This big? He's even bigger than this? How big is he? This big? Oh wow! Cause my God is so big. He's so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. That's amazing, isn't it? So I want you to make lots of space. Make big, big space. Cause we're gonna sing, my God is so big. Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong. we can be even bigger. I know you can be really big. Can you be even bigger? Can you show me? Oh wow, that's much better. Let's do this again. Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. so big isn't he and the things that he does for us oh they're just amazing wow what a big god we have we had so much fun today in sabbath school didn't we we sang some songs we had a great story and we learned our memory verse so i think what we should do is we should close our sabbath school with a prayer so hands together eyes closed and let's talk to jesus and end our sabbath school dear heavenly father Thank you that we had so much fun in Sabbath school today, learning all about you and being able to be together even though we're apart. Thank you, Father, for all that you do and please continue to keep us safe and well until we meet again. In your name I pray, Amen. Our Sabbath school is over, let's sing, ready? Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Goodbye. to see you all and I hope that you continue to remain safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. God bless. Bye bye.